and glycan profiling of chicken intestine as a tool for designing improved feed supplements. Cells of all vertebrates communicate through carbohydrate structures of glycoproteins and glycolipids, referred to as glycans. The luminal surface of intestinal epithelium is covered by an array of them. The aim of the study was to characterize the intestinal N-glycans of different compartments of broiler chicken. Three broiler chickens were sampled for tissue from chechunum, ileum and cecum. The samples were rinsed and scraped for mucus and epithelial cells. The protein-bound N-glycans were liberated with glycosidase F. The detached glycans were purified and analyzed by Maltitov mass spectrometry. The relative intensity of N-glycan signals in the mass spectra was measured. This slide shows examples of the raw data of this experiment. On the right hand side there is the mass spectra of neutral N-glycans from the jejunum and cecum of one chicken. Most of the peaks could be assigned to an N-glycan bearing proposed monosaccharide compositions based on the characteristic molecular mass of each monosaccharide type. The signal intensity reflected the relative molar amount of the N-glycan components of the sample. This slide gives some examples of N-glycan structures which were found along the digestive tract of chicken. As the graph on the right hand side shows, the hymen nose N glycans were the most common type in these samples. They were especially abundant in jejunum and cecum. Jejunal and ileal profiles differed especially in the abundance of the high and posimen nose glycans, while the cecum was rich in complex type N glycans. Compared with neutral N glycans, the acidic N-glycans showed more variation and presence of cellulated structures, which may act as pathogen receptors. The mapping of the N-glycan profile of chicken intestine can serve as a foundation for rational design of novel functional feed supplements. Using N-glycan mapping, novel feed supplements can be tailored to bind to pathogenic bacteria, or the, the specific N-glycans of intestinal epithelium that are recognized by pathogens. Both approaches would inhibit the attachment of pathogens to gut mucosa and thus reduce disease incidence. Thank you for listening.